I don't get in their front end here, but uh, it worked one day. I got to call a hummingbird and find out what's wrong with it. It ain't uh, reading the bottom, and when it don't read the bottom, it don't scan. But anyway, welcome back to AWF Outdoors. I got my son-in-law Jeremy with me here. He hasn't fished with me in a while. I'm about to get his granddad, but his granddad has some other stuff to do. Maybe we can get him out here with us before long. He loves crappie fishing too. But anyway, uh, what we're looking for today is crappie that's coming back into the sloughs and creek channels that's holding out on a deeper structure. Water temperature today is 70 degrees. We're going to be slip corking minnows and uh, probably fishing from 9 to 15 foot deep. And we're uh, probably going to stay in 20 to 35 feet of water. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So uh, let's go catch a crappie. Pick it up a little harder than that, Jay. Down, yeah. Next time you set the hook, set it a little harder than that. How deep are you now? Set it. Oh man. Yeah. That looks like a crappie bite. They don't. They ain't hitting it real hard, so they might be a. Uh, yeah. Give them a little longer. See what it takes to get him. Pop it now. <laughs> I, ain't never, I, I you, ain't never seen nothing like it. Are you feeling it? Uh-uh. It's just like picking it up, it ain't nothing there. I'll give him about 30 minutes this time. Let him take it to lunch with him. Yeah. Might be all he's doing is wanting to take it, take it over to the break room. Yeah. I don't know. Hit it just like a crappie, though. Just one little thump and then pull it down. There you go. Let him have it a little longer this time. Pop it in him now. <laughs> You're fishing at 11 foot. <laughs> yeah. I ain't never seen that much yet. I'm not even feeling it. See what you got going on in there. You don't even want to mess with this big man. <clears throat> this that thing too big. Fishing with bass manners. That's a good in there. Get the net. Get the net, baby. Come here, baby. Golly, come here, baby. Hey. Good. Hey, I'm telling you, that's a good in there. You gotta go get them with that jig, Jay. Yeah. Sometimes them manners don't work. Sometimes them manners don't work, baby.
Hey. Slab. That slab right there, boy. Might get a picture of that. You got a good camera, do you? You want to take a picture for me? You want to send it to me? That slab. It's more. That's closed. Take that thing off my hook. But we going, we going, we going jig. We should have done better than that. Didn't we? we can cover more ground with jig. Yeah, that man, that man, I should have done better than that. Parking the minnows, guys. We're gonna throw a jig. Been dobbing minnows for an hour, ain't caught a fish. Those jig caught a two pound one. Putting it down there with the big ones. With a big minnow. Fishing four inch minnows. We're trying a theory right now to see if a big crappie like big minnows better. So we bought bass mounts today. We're gonna see. Caught that last one on a two inch curly tail grub. But since I know exactly where the location is now, we're gonna drop a minnow on them and see what that does. Catch them about 14 foot deep. Here's a keeper. Ain't no little one. Straight out of my mosa tree right there. 14 foot. I think that's what I've seen on that depth finder. I couldn't tell how big they were, but he's a keeper. There you go. We fished my minnows today, guys, but uh, they just ain't hitting the minnows that good. So when I find something out there I like, I'll throw a jig on it and try to just check it, see what it is. And, And so far, uh, I've caught fish on the, on the jig, so we're going to throw jigs for a while. Fishing about 14 feet deep. That was the first cast, just pulled up on this new spot here. Let's see what else is down in there. I do have one depth finder back here on the dash working. I'm just shooting sonar on a Helix 7. A little bit further out there. Slab, boy. There's another slab there. You see how I popped it too? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Hooked him and foul hooked him. Huh? Sure did, didn't he? Got him an eyeball. He had it in his mouth, though. You gotta throw him back. Yeah, I'm gonna throw him back in that live well over. Hey, that looked like some good fish I seen on that depth finder there. Let's see if we can get another one. We'll have you a bigger hook. Mouth's a big and below hook pull it through. <laughs> He's on one hawk now. There he goes. There he goes. He's going to take it again. Get on, baby. 
He pulled it down there, didn't he? Look here, look here. Man, they're just messing with it today. They won't just take it. Right there by the corner boat. Did it? Nah, you can throw that buoy out there though. About three foot away from the corner there. Yeah. yeah. Anywhere just to give us a reference. Here you go. I actually hit that tree on the other side of the boat, Jay, about six foot off of it. Fishing with a jig when I hit it, I turn around and look, my cork was going down. I was acting up again. Mm -hmm. You might see a big old slab down in there. That or he's trying to get hung on the bottom of a limb. Might be a bite here, Jay. Oh man, Come on. missed him. Went down to 14 foot. Long you need a net? Crap, yeah, that's a big crappie. How deep was you? 13? Yeah, 13. I had to think about it. I'm gonna move this one. Oh man. You see him floated up there? Yeah. See if he hit it again. Yeah, I got you. I had a lot of stuff down in there. Uh oh, look here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man, it got around a limb. He's still on there. It wiggles. Yeah, he's still on there. Man, he's coming back up to that limb right there every time. Probably tore off that time. No, he's still on there. Fourteen or fifteen foot down. He's still on there, Jay. That's why that one was I hung up there. The pot was a nice one. He stayed down there. He stayed on it the whole time. Finally, I just had to break it because it wouldn't come off. There he is. I got him. That's where they're at today. They're still 14, 15 foot deep. Crappie there, buddy. That's crappie right there. Oh, man, he come off. Let me see if he tore my minute up. I thought he would. He come up. Yeah, that's a nice one. Like a that's a nice one. Bring him over here. You have to get down in there and get them, boy. Have to get down in there with them. Nice. Bigger than that than whatever. Huh? I thought it was bigger than that when I first seen it. I know it'd be. Hold up here so the camera can see. Oh yeah, pretty. That's what it is, ain't it? Down in there. Oh, yeah. That's nice. 
I like them jigs sometimes. There are dogs trying to catch them on the menace. I caught a few on menace. Most of them come off jigs today. Uh, after this cold spell we had this past week, water temperature dropped down to 70, five degrees in one week. But uh, ever since then, the crop has done went down to 14, 15 foot deep. So uh, that's what we had to do today is go on down there and get them. I was catching about nine to 10. So uh, anyway, that was, uh, another, that was another good day and uh, we ended up with some nice slabs in the live well. So uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, notification bell if you want to watch some more crop fishing. I appreciate y'all. So we'll see you next time.